How's it going today? Today, a few performance training, we're going to go into our second ball handling video. First one was an intro to all of our different ball handling techniques. And today what we're going to do is we are going to look a little bit closer at some of the advanced techniques that we use. Okay? And uh, we're going to break them down one by one so we can teach you how to teach these drills to your kids and have them be effective. What I learned in the last week or so, or realized in the last week or so, over a handful of clinics that we've been running, is that a lot of the youth players dribble through their legs, dribble behind their back, in place. They can do everything in a box. But we don't do any of those drills, but we don't use any of those techniques to stay in a box. We use those techniques to separate from the defense. So, today we're going to teach you how we can use these drills to separate not just stand in place. Enjoy. The number one goal in using any kind of change of direction ball handling drill is to separate from the defense. Give yourself space from the defense. You get cut off, you perform some kind of move, some kind of technique, some kind of ball handling move that separates you from the defense. So you can get to the spot you need to get to, you can make a pass, get your shot, or just break through a press. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus through our zigzag drill and look closer at each technique, okay, from the reverse dribble to the through the legs dribble and the behind the back dribble. We're going to look at those three today. We talked about that crossover dribble last time. Now we're going to focus on these three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through each one of these and then we'll break it down one by one. So the first one we're going to look at is going to be the reverse dribble. What is our goal? Our goal is to change direction as quickly as possible while keeping the ball as far away from the defender as possible. So, what we see all the time in the reverse dribble is what? They come this way, the defense would be here cutting you off, and instead of pulling it through, people come here and they just switch hands. Well, if I come here like this, and just switch hands, Defender's right here. It's like a hand up. Hand up, layup, right? So, what do I have to do? I have to create some contact, okay? Get my body into the defender and pull it through. So, remember, we did this drill. We did that push and pull drill, okay? We were in place ball handling. So, now we're going to use that pull portion of it, right? So, I come here. I'm going left, I get my right hip, my right leg, boom, out on the defender. My defender's just coming off. I pin that here, drop step this leg, while I pull the ball through with my hand that's farthest away from the defender. And then once I pull it through, and I step through, I put it right back into that lead hand, that right hand going right, okay? So, Watch it again at the first couple, and watch how I'll pin, drop step, and pull. So you can see how this can be very, very effective, okay? Because we already like to get into this protective position, right? Protect the ball away from the defender. Now, sets it up perfectly, I get contact, the defender gets contact, you roll off of him, I got nowhere to go. All of a sudden, you're leading the charge, you separate from the defense. That can be done on full court pressure, bringing the ball up. That can be done in a half court offense. Okay, so the next dribble, the next change in direction, dribble, ball handling skill we are gonna go through is the change in direction dribble through the legs. Okay, now what I found, what we found in our clinics and our camps, a lot of kids can dribble through their legs. A lot of kids can stand in place. Do all 
this junk, okay? But never make any progress. And then when we ask them to go through the legs, or go behind the back, in a change of direction, to move forward, they can't do it, okay? So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna look at how we can do that, and then how we can coach them, all right? So I'm gonna go through it once, come back, and then we'll break it down. Jump stop. 
Where am I going? It's great to stop, and that might give me an advantage every once in a while if I'm not trying to make progress. If I come here and here, because I'm in the half court offense and I don't want to go forward, that can be effective. That's not what we're working on right now. We're working on beating our man because we got cut off and making progress and making separation. So, first things first, teach them to wrap that ball around, okay? This could be sitting in the wall, throwing it behind the back, off the wall, all right? It's really to really improve this dribble, not saying throw behind the back passes. But the goal is to wrap it around and have it hit the wall in front of you or even to that opposite side. So you're wrapping it around even more. So you, when you get in the game, you can keep that wrap tight and still move forward. Because what happens if I can't wrap it around tight? It shoots out to the side, doesn't come forward. So even in place, what we can practice, in place, you can do everything from feet spread, just pulling it through their legs, okay? Because we're getting that motion of pulling it through and coming straight through, pulling it through, coming straight through. And that's staying in place. One dribble in between, just one dribble in between, so they learn that they have to get it around quick, not and then behind their back. So one dribble, pull, one dribble, pull, one dribble, pull, and work like that. Once they can get that in place, then start to add in the zigzag pattern with the behind the back dribble. Super, super effective. I think that once it's learned, much easier to do, less things to go wrong, and your eyes can always stay up on the court. You're not turning your back like you are in a reverse dribble, all right? You're not making as much contact like you are in a reverse dribble or through the legs. It's a very, very effective tool to make sure we take the progressions to get there. Thanks a lot. That's all we have for today, all right? We'll come back to, with you again, and we'll add some more ball handling ones. We're gonna get some kids in the gym, go through some different beginning, lower level passing drills. Thank you very much, have a great day.